So do extended and ported aftermarket choke tubes really perform better than flush factory choke tubes? Well, today we are gonna put that to the test. Hey, this is George with the New Hunters Guy, the YouTube channel and podcast. Make sure you check out that podcast. Helping new hunters get started and helping active hunters learn new things. Today, we're gonna do a choke tube test. I've got my standard modified and full flush Mossberg factory choke tubes, and I'm gonna run these up against some Carlson's extended and ported sporting clays choke tubes to find out if these fancier choke tubes really make a difference. And to test that, we're gonna shoot some Boss three inch number four copper plated bismuth which has become my favorite waterfowl load along with some Remington gun club target loads these are one and an eighth ounce 1200 feet per second seven and a half shot which is great for shooting doves crows and some other small game and we're gonna find out how each patterns both with the full and the modified of the factory and then the full and the modified of the extended ported Carlson's we're gonna count every single pellet as well as keep an eye on how evenly distributed they are. Now let's head down to the range. We are down at the range now and we're gonna get started first with our factory modified choke. And we'll take our first shot with the boss number fours. All right, next up, the Remington seven and a half shot. All right, and you go switch the paper, change out the choke tubes, and we'll hit it again. Now we've got our flush factory full, and we'll hit it with the boss at 40 yards. All right, now for the Remington. All right, we'll change the paper and another choke. And here we've got our aftermarket Carlson's Modified, and we'll lead with the boss. All right, next up the Remington. All right, we'll go see how we did, and then another choke tube. And now we have our aftermarket Carlson's extended full choke tube, and we'll start with the boss. And last but not least, the Remington. All right, guys, we're gonna go take a look at these targets, but first, I'd really ask you guys to hit the thumbs up button. Nobody is sponsoring this video, but every time you click the like button, you help support the channel and help this video spread to more people. All right, let's go see how we did. All right, I got all the targets laid out. We're gonna go through this pretty quick. Let's start with the Boss Factory Modified. And of course, this is my little duck here that I put in the middle. The Boss Aftermarket Modified. The Remington Factory Modified. The Remington Aftermarket Modified. The Boss Factory Full. The Boss Aftermarket Full. The Remington Factory Full. and the Remington aftermarket full. And that little reactive target in the middle, that represents your duck, your crow, your dove, whatever it is you're shooting at, and we hit it with plenty of pellets on all of them. But next, guys, I am going to count the pellets on every single one in the core of a 30-inch circle. I'm also going to do the standard deviation to see how the dispersal of pellets is if it's more uniform with the aftermarket choke tubes. And now for the work. 
Well, we got it done. We got the data crunch. Guys, I've counted some 1,400 pellets and we're running out of daylight, but I got it finished. And I must say, I am impressed with the results. This was better than I was expecting, but let's take a look at the data. So you can see across the board here, we have an increase in pattern density for the aftermarket Carlson's choke tubes. 14% increase, 1% increase, 15% increase, 1% increase. So with every single load, we had improved pattern density. More pellets on the paper in a 30 inch circle with the aftermarket choke tubes. Now the standard deviation, guys, that one was kind of a wash. Some were up, some were down. You probably need to shoot you know, a dozen shots with each pattern, all of them, crunch all that data to see if there are any significant trends there. But in terms of pattern density, across the board, we had a 7.75% average increase from the stock choke tubes to the aftermarket choke tubes. Now keep in mind, we just tested one kind of stock choke tubes and one kind of aftermarket choke tubes. The one that came with my Mossberg 930 28 inch barrel versus the Carlson's extended ported sport clays choke tubes. But from this test, I'm encouraged, depending on your objectives and budget, it may very well be worth getting some extended choke tubes in order to get that modest benefit in pattern density. Now, what you need to do next is click right here, watch this video. It's going to inform you, encourage you, and help equip you with more information. Till next time, guys, I really appreciate you. God bless you, and go get them in the woods.